is about the conic section ellipse and we have problems our problem number one what is the standard form of the given ellipse problem number two what is the center and problem number three what is the vertices or what are the vertices but before we proceed with this problem so let us first discuss the basic concepts of the conic section ellipse para mas maintindihan po natin and let's start let us define ellipse what is an ellipse it is the set of all points on the xy plane the sum of whose distances from two fixed points called the foci is a constant so yung sum daw po ng distances ng isang point sa dalawang foci ay pareho po ng sum ng distances ng isa ring point sa dalawang foci. And the line containing the foci is called the major axis. So, yung axis or line kung nasaan ang ating foci center at vertices ay major axis. And the line through the center and perpendicular to the major axis is the minor axis. Later on, matatalakay po natin sila for further explanation. Okay? So, here, from each point in the plane, the sum of the distances to the foci is a constant. So, example, so here is the focus 1 and focus 2. Ang plural po ng focus ay foci. So, we have point A. So, this is point A. Ang distance ni point A sa ating focus 1 ay D1. At ang distance niya naman ni point A sa focus 2 ay D2. And we have point B. Na ang distance niya sa focus 1 ay D1. At ang distance niya sa focus 2 ay D2. Therefore, ang sabi po dito ang sum po nila ay constant. So, dito. So, yung sa point A na D1 plus D2 at sa point B na D1 plus D2, pareho po yung kanilang sum, which is a certain value denoted as C. So, yun po ang ibig sabihin nun. And, let's go to the parts of an ellipse. We have the center, the center, the foci, vertex, vertex, lahat po sila ay nasa major axis. Ang major axis po natin ay yung pinaka mahaba. And sabi po sa definition kanina, perpendicular and passes pass through the center is the minor axis. Dito naman po sa minor axis, ang andito ay co-vertices. Again, ang co-vertices po natin ay nasa minor axis, whereas the vertices ay nasa major axis. Okay po, wag po natin niyang kakalimutan at wag po tayong malilito. We also have the latus rectum. Diba po, may latus rectum din po tayo sa ating parabola. Pareho lang po yun na pareho lang po sila na they pass, they pass through the focus tapos mag extend po sila sa ating conic section. So, dito, mag iba nga lang po ang formula ng latus rectum compared sa parabola which is equal to 4a. So, Kailangan din po nating mag-ingat kasi magkakaiba-iba din po sila sa iba-ibang conic section. Then, here, we have the latus rectum. And, we have the focus 1, focus 2, and the center. So, from center to the co-vertex, it is B. So, the distance from center to co-vertex is B or it is called as semi-minor axis. Therefore, ang ating minor axis is equal to 2B. Okay, so from center to the vertex, 
again center to the vertex is a which is also called as semi major axis so from center to focus it is c okay center to focus is c center to focus is c therefore focus to focus is equal to 2c how about the latus rectum it is equal to 2b squared over a which is different from 4a of parabola's latus rectum we we have c paano po natin masosolve si c c is equal to square root of a squared minus b squared or c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared remember na si a po yung pinaka malaki ang value sa kanilang tatlo okay po so let's go to the standard form of ellipse unahin po natin ang vertical so we have hk center at hk so the quantity of y minus k squared over a squared plus x minus h squared or the quantity of x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1 so ito po ang ating standard form ng vertical ellipse where center is at hk 2a yung nasabi kanina length of major axis and to be length of minor axis absolute value kasi wala naman po tayong negative na length or dimension and here is the representation this is how it looks like wala po siya sa origin kaya hk po ang ating center how about this one this is center at the origin y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared is equal to 1 and this is how it looks like babalikan ko po yung naunang formula here di ba po kapag ang center natin is at the origin 0 0 automatic isosubstitute po natin dito si 0 0 and makukuha na po natin ang y squared over a squared x squared over b squared therefore Ang may advice ko po sa inyo ay those with center at HK na lang po ang ating kabisaduhin. Pero hindi na po madami ang ating iniisip. Okay? So, we're done with uh, vertical ellipse. Let's go to the horizontal ellipse. So, the standard form, ano po ang napansin nyo? Ito po ay nasa HK. Nagpalit po sila. Yes, nagpalit po sila. And, ito po ang hitsura niyan na sa HK. Therefore, ang ating basihan po ay kung ano po yung axis na nasa taas neto ni A squared, ay siya po magiging major axis. At this case, where the center is at HK, X axis po ang ating nasa taas ng A squared. Therefore, parallel po kay X axis ang ating major axis, okay? How about, ito naman po, ay kapag center is at origin, so, dahil nasa origin ng ating center, magkuko inside sa ating x-axis ang ating major axis, okay? So, yun lang po, Ang ating tatandaan, again, kung anong axis po yung nasa taas ng A squared, ay siya pong magiging axis ng ellipse, as well as the orientation. Kasi di ba kung ano po yung ating major axis, yun din po ang orientation ng ating ellipse. Okay? So, we are now ready to solve the problem. Our problem number one. What is the standard form of the given ellipse? Here, mapapansin na po agad natin na meron pong nag-equate sa 0. So, x na po si b. 
Kasi ang ating standard form po are all equated to 1. And let us have a closer look of the graph to establish the points and the axis here. So, ano po yung una natin gagawin kapag ganito? Kailangan po natin ilapat ang ating or ilatag ang ating axis, major axis muna tayo. Dito po, meron tayong 1 unit sa left side ng ating y-axis. And we have 7 units dito naman sa right. So, 7 plus 1, we have total of 8 units. And we have to get or to solve for the midpoint. So, 4. We have 1 at the left, then 3 sa right. So, along 3 ang ating major axis. How about the minor axis? We have 7, 7 units to the uh, 7 units upward and 5 units downward. Therefore, total of 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, we have 7 here. Therefore, the minor axis will be here at 1. So, we have now the ma major in pink and minor axis in blue. And the center at 3, 1, 2, 3. And above 1 unit, 3, 1. So the coordinate of our center is at 3, 1. How about the vertex? The vertices, rather. Here is the vertices. Here is 7. So 3, 7. Itong taas at ang baba naman ay 3, negative 5. Okay? about the cover text here we have negative 1 negative 1 1 and the other one 6 7 and 1 so here kompleto na po ang ating center at vertices Center is at 3, 1. We have to solve for A and B para makapag-formulate po tayo ng very good, ng standard form. So, A is A. 7 minus 1 is 6. A squared, 6 times 6 is 36. How about B? ba ang B po natin is from center to covertex. So, si center ay 3, si covertex ay negative 1. So, magdadagdag tayo, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. B squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. And now, we are ready to solve for the going back to problem 1. What is the standard form? ng vertical center at hk the quantity of y minus k squared over a squared plus the quantity of x minus h squared over b squared is equal to 1 so wala na po si b and our h is equal to 3 and k is equal to 1 so, so substitute lang po natin dito we have the quantity of y minus 1 squared over 36 plus x minus the h, which is equal to 3, squared over 16. 16 is b squared, 16. a squared is 36, so we have 36 here equated to 1. So the answer is letter A. Okay. Medyo madali po kasi nakagrab na po ang ating conic section. So, what is the center of the ellipse for problem number 2? Center is already 3, 1. So, the answer is C. For problem number 3, what is the vertices of the given ellipse? Alin nga po ang vertices? Saan po siya matatagpuan? Dito po sa maliit or sa mas mahaba? Correct. Sa mas mahaba. Kasi ito pong nandito ay co-vertices, ang nasa minor axis. So, our vertices 
are 3, 7, and 3, 5, which is letter A. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat.